Hello everyone, this is Andrea, the Epoxy Chick. Welcome back. I wanted to give you an update on the one I did um, last night. So this is, a, I guess, a part two. Looks terrible. Um, the, the silver completely took over. So I am going to do it again. And this time I might change up a couple of the colors. So, let's get to it. Okay, went ahead and just mixed the epoxy. And uh, this is as much silver as I'm gonna put on. Before I used an entire Dixie cup, or bigger Dixie cup, but I'm only gonna use a tiny bit. So, I'm going to also use different colors I still have um, the, the pinkish red, the, I think it's called Golden Gate. This one is the Voodoo Blue, that gorgeous. This one is Midnight Blue. Look at that, how rich that color is, it's just gorgeous. And this is just like a white, I forgot the name of it, and I can't turn it over. Um, it's just a white. The other one was called Fool's Gold. This one is just like a, a pretty white. Okay, see, I went ahead and did the silver first. So that's a lot less than it was yesterday. And I'm still thinking about taking a little bit more off. But we'll see what happens when I pour the other colors. All right, here's the white. So it kind of covers up the silver, so I think we're going to be okay. Let me try the others. Okay, here's the red or the wine color. Um, I'm just going to put it on back and forth motion, side to side motions, no rhyme or reason. Just, uh, just getting it on there and kind of evening it out between the sides. All right, here is the blue or the voodoo blue, actually. And it just occurred to me, this is a red, white, and blue table. Merca. Yeah, Merca. I didn't do that on purpose. So, yay me. And there's with the midnight blue on there. Oh, I love that blue. So pretty. Anyway, uh, again, starting with the edges. I'm going to kind of bring this in, the colors, so it kind of covers the because it's trying to peek its way out there. And then I'm just going to do the edges. And then I'll get kind of in the middle. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh my goodness, okay. I may have to change the color from teal. Just make it a pretty blue or black something instead. But yeah, here I am. I'm going to tap out the holes. So I kind of get, that's a lot of silver right there. So I'll kind of tap some of the color to kind of cover the silver. So it's not so overwhelming this time. And color it in. Tap it all in there. And tap out the holes. Okay. Got the heat gun out. Uh, getting all these little pesky bubbles. And the bubbles out. Because it dried really fast. It cured really well overnight. So that's why I'm just going to let it go overnight. Oh no. I think I got a bug. Oh dear. Poor guy. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free. To message me and ask me any questions, uh, either about uh, what happened to me or what's going on in my life, which I had to take a break from. I'm more than happy, sorry, more than happy to uh, let you guys know. I don't want to voluntarily say anything. But anyway, um, if you have any questions about the epoxy, about you know, anything, please let me know. 
Let me know if you would like to see um, some different colors next time. What kind of colors you'd like to see. And uh, there we go. Yep. I hope you heard me over the heat gun. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Voila. Oh, I dropped it. But that is how it turned out this time. And man, that looks 10 times better. It still kind of has a lot of silver, even though I only used like maybe a fourth of a cup or Dixie cup or less. Kind of weird how it takes over like that. But yeah, there it is. Uh, feel free to uh, ask me any questions. If you want to see a certain type of furniture or you want to see one of my processes I do before I do the epoxy, blah, 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 anything. Just let me know. Uh, I'm more than willing to do it. I'm, I have a little more spare time than I used to. And uh, there we go. And I will update you again once it's, uh, once it's all cured. All right. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.